in Colorado first. Spencer, more snow is coming your way. Don't you fret. Yeah, let's get things over to First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Aguilera. Dave, uh, we're going to see a lot of what that is happening behind you. Uh, we are indeed, yeah. It's been snowing most of the day, and we're not done yet. Uh, a couple of days ago, I told you we may have four days of this, and we may go through Saturday off and on with different levels of snow. This is Lookout Mountain, where it's coming down pretty good. Very, very light snow in the city. There's a tech center camera, and you can see traffic is moving pretty uh, swiftly, a lot better than what we had going on this morning, but a lot of the side streets are still slick out there. So we've got snow right now. Denver over eastern Colorado. There are some pockets where it's uh, broken up here and there, but if we put it into motion, see that little blue line? We had one little wave come through, and we're going to have these through the night. So unfortunately, we're going to get more snow on top of what we already have out there over eastern Colorado as this thing starts to move through. You can see a little kind of a little swirl out here that developed uh, when this storm moved in earlier today. This is kind of a 36 hour loop. Watch as the storm snowed out west and then really took over last night over the eastern plains of Colorado. Eight and a half inches southeast Aurora from Kathy Davis, our weather watcher there. Nine inches in Lakewood from Ronald Sherwood and East Franktown. 14 inches from Phil Curry here and we're not done yet. Here's the cutoff low. In fact, tonight it drops further south. It pulls the snow away from us briefly. So tomorrow we'll have light snow in the morning and the afternoon. A few flurries here and there. Then on Friday morning, it's snowing pretty good down here in the southeast. And then by afternoon, it starts to move up into the uh, Oklahoma panhandle. And that's when we see more snow. I think the bulk of the next wave is going to be Friday into Saturday morning. We could see kind of a repeat of what we just had. So here's the way things look tonight. Another two to four from Denver back into the foothills, three to seven Castle Rock down to Monument Hill. We could see more additional snow out east as well. We had that problem along I-70 with the closure out there. They could see another two to eight. And then down south, winter storm warning all the way down to Trinidad. This counts the snow that we're expecting tomorrow into Friday. And Friday will be the bigger snow. But some of these areas down in southern Colorado could have another foot or two by the time we get to the weekend, believe it or not. So here's how we walk through our Super 7 day. 39 tomorrow with a few flurries here and there. Friday, another first alert weather day, 41. And again, the morning won't be too bad. I think the morning commute will be okay. It's Friday afternoon and evening that the snow starts to move in into Saturday. Saturday at 49 and a possible first alert weather day for that as well. And here's what the snow forecast Friday night into Saturday could look like. We could see about three to six inches of snow around the Denver metro area. And again, the higher ground of Elbert County, Douglas County, Jefferson County up here may get another six to 12 inches of snow snow heading into the weekend as this system parts and then Sunday at 58 62 on Monday and then next week we got another little system on Tuesday but we're not even going to think about that right now we got a lot to go through between now and the weekend ahead we'll be right back